you will absolutely, positively never know the depths of another man's soul until you're in a dark place with him. But at the same time, you will never know the depths of your own soul until you go through that same darkness as well. You will never be able to be in touch with that person that you never knew inside of you until you go through transgressions. You will never know that man that you call your brother. You will never know your own mom until y'all go through a sticky situation where that person is actually needed. Then you'll understand how far that person is willing to go for you. Or you'll know if that person is willing to snake you out. It's all about circumstances. It's all about, you know, what is going on. Yeah, that person might be right there riding it out while everything is good. But when the downfall comes and you in a gutter and you need that person, are they willing to stick it out? Those moments are deciphering moments. They help you decide between whether or not this person is an opponent or a component. And components are vital. Components collect together to make a much better vessel. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that's around you, your team, and everything that you love, that you keep around daily, they got to be components. They got to help come together to create a better situation. Like we said before, it takes a team. So every little piece has to fit in place properly. But the only messed up thing is that you have to go through these transgressions to be able to realize whom these people are that you are dealing with. But most definitely, I'm just trying to have my family with the best and the nice things. Other than that, I'm good. Like that man Dump said. Make sure y'all wipe y'all feet as y'all coming in the door. And if you haven't subscribed, you need to go do that, man. Ring that bell icon and show your boy some love. And with that being said, let's get to it. Believe it. What's happening, La Familia? Y'all know, we back up on this grind, so we ain't wasting no time. What's going on today, folks? It's your boy, King K.O. Back with another video. And y'all know what time it is, family. Let's get to these IG supporters. And we got CD Istro 3. And then we got Cheap Guy Heat. And then we got Mike Parks, uh, Parkes 6. Then we got Taylor Gang 102. Then we got Josh Artwork 24. And then Sleepy Thuggin', which is probably a fake page from uh, Sleepy Man. But uh, free that man's Boulevard Sleepy Man. And y'all know, without further ado, wipe your feet as you come in the door and let's get to it. Believe that. And first and foremost, we got that man T Rail. As he says, yeah, I'm starting to see who I'm important to. Detailing he got a problem behind closed doors. Then he says, my biggest problem is I think dudes got my same level of care, which is never the case. That's never the fact, man. You can't never, we know family, can't never put your faith in these dudes. Then he says, I'm just going to let it go. And then he shows us, you know, his, uh, basically his tour life, that EXO tour life, and how he just living in hotels. So y'all check it out. This is my mother life right here. Up, I be up like every day till five in the morning. <sighs> so when you're in a city that's not up at five in the morning, what do you do? Just sit here and just twiddle your got Air Force Ones. Be like that sometimes, though, real man. Can't let it get to you though. But let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we got that man DJ Earl, as he says. Who know where David G is? Stole millions of views from me and took my name off my own stuff. Then he says, makes thousands, stealing black kids with nothing 
videos, views, and money. Stole two million of my views also. Then he puts a little note on his shirt that says, the evil white man who steals money from blacks. But what I think he meant to say was, he makes thousands off of stealing from black kids. You know what I'm saying? And basically like their videos and views and whatnot. You know, which is a savage thing. And I, I pretty much talked about that on Instagram too. But hold on, let's finish reading what he had to say before I dive in. David G is a perfect example of white pitpo stealing content and making money. White pitpo, like him, been stealing black folks video money for years. Do y'all agree? If y'all do, let me know down in the comment section. But what I will say is this, man, that's definitely a messed up thing, man, for you to take this man's video and then get all those millions of views off of it and not give him any credit for his hard work and everything that he has done to, you know, get there. But I want to know what y'all think about that. Now, I did say something similar to kind of the tune of that on Instagram when I brought up, you know, Adam22, Vlad TV, and DJ Smalls. And the fact that, you know, they are the biggest uh, vloggers on YouTube as far as hip hop, which is a community of rappers, you know, and entertainers that are dominated by about 99.9% .9 black people. So for, you know, all of the major bloggers who speak on hip hop to be predominantly of whiter skin tone, that kind of seems like there is a biasness on these social media sites to keep the black people away from making money off of the content that they put out. So I do agree with what the man is saying to a certain extent. Now, I'm not trying to make it seem like that's just a whole demographic of people because you do got a lot of people with a whiter skin tone who are into helping black people make and maximize for the uh, the content they, uh, they, they put out, help them make the maximum revenue for what they do. But it is a kind of touchy subject. But at the end of the day, it's one we need to address. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that down in the comment section. Let's go ahead and move on. Believe that. And next up, we got that man's Herm the Black Sheep, NBA young boy brother slash partner. As you know, he gets real disrespectful. But first he says, this is probably uh, the weakest song on his whole tape, you know, pertaining to the song that he dropped that is a shiggity at tech in my opinion but y'all let me know y'all's and i'm gonna go ahead and play that song for y'all right now your man's looking like a real the zeman right here i said zeman YouTube, don't be tripping. Don't try to gas me up, man. For real, YouTube. Come on. Don't do me in. But, yeah, man. As y'all can see, he said, you better ask your little spiders. You know, his, 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 his team coming for that stretch game. Better ask your little spiders, allegedly. But let's go ahead and move on to what Tech had to say. Because, to me, this was a response from Tech. And uh, y'all let me know if y'all believe that it was a response as well. Check it out. Tech said, you ain't really trying to do that. With the Zeman emoji, we're going to start saying Zeman, Zeman, you know, because YouTube be on my bumper. And then he says, you just a clout Zeman. You know what I'm saying? So just know, man, when I say Zeman, y'all know what I'm talking about. That little word right there. Now, this was definitely a response, in my opinion, right after, you know, that man Herm the Black Sheep uploaded that snippet and preview of his new song. Tech came out and said this. I'm sure he got a whiff of it. They watch each other page. They pay attention to each other. So, yeah, man, that was definitely a shiggity, you know, to which Herm, I mean, not Herm, Tech also went on, you know, uh, to clean his jury and uh, make a little uh, snippet of his song on live as well. So, y'all check this out. Always tell me when I'm wrong. Never that you proud of me. Whenever I'm celebrating, you wear your fake smile for me. If all I feel is hate, then how the Y'all love me. Always trying to build a case for how the f y'all judge me. Now, y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all think that that little message was a shiggity from Tech. Now, let's move on. And next up, we got a music video from Who Gang D. As Who Gang D pretty much, you know, sent shiggities at Dissa as well as them boys from Dixie. And really went at, you know, the whole TBG and everybody on that side 
within, you know, this new song that he just made called Brave, where he put the shiggity towards O Block and them from NBA Youngboy in the front as the intro and uh just ripped it off and let it win at everybody pretty much, you know, who gang D was on tens in this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and play a few of the shiggities for y'all right now, right now. Check it out. For those of you who couldn't understand him, he said, we had that female dog crying in that cell, he couldn't open his mouth, you know, pretty much being disrespectful, you know, uh, and the reason why I thought it was Dissa, because Dissa had a response, but before we go on to Dissa response, we are going to see what else he said. He trying to catch him, boy, they trying to go make a play. That boy said he was something out on his trail, bam. I caught that old man lane, send a shot, shot in flash. That For those of you who didn't understand what he said, he said that boy trying to mess with something, that boy be down bad. He said he trying to mess with something. And Dissa responded that too. But I want to know who y'all think he talking about. Then he said he caught somebody on O'Neal Lane. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, whatever. We know it's just rap. But one thing I do respect about Ben 10 too, though, is he always supporting his partners, man. Just like he was sitting up on Instagram supporting everything YB had going on. And share, you know, his plaques and whatnot. And then also share his baby mama's picture of him while being a child. So that's 100. But let's go ahead and play Dissa response. And y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Hey, look, you ain't never, ever, ever, ever in your life got a question in my f with that. Yeah, when you go to sleep, with that. When you wake up in the morning and breathe, with that. And that's on game, with that. And that's on game, with that. So as y'all can see, this a response. I'm messing with that in every way, in every way possible. Ain't turning nothing down. Now, y'all let me know if y'all think these two situations are correlated. In my opinion, they are. But this will also let us see the behind the scenes to his new song that's finna come out. You know, and I think that's kind of what Who Gang D was talking about in the song as well. But let's check out these behind the scenes. <laughs> But that was that man's Dussa behind the scenes to his new song. Then we got Fred O'Bang coming with a message. If you behind on your bills, man, <laughs> he telling y'all what y'all need to do. It's the third or first in the dollar, man. Get them paid, you hear me? You short love? Suck a little. You, sh you ain't got it, my Fuck that bitch. Get to the paper, ain't no excuses. Get to the paper, ain't no excuses. Then him, Ivy, and Big Flex try to do that man Bobby Shamurder dance. You know what I'm saying? But probably, you know, pretty much gave up on it. But he also posted his lighter showing that he hustling and whatnot, man. So shout out to Fredo. Then we got that man Lil Hurt as he can as he sends a message to, you know, the people in his family trying to cross him. He said, family be, you know what, man, and cats too. That's why I don't mess with uh, dudes, period. Shake my head. Right game, wrong dude. For real, for real. Yep, that's most definitely flat facts. But next up, man, we got that man, NBA Youngboy and his team. And we definitely going to dive into this one. I'm going to give y'all my little thoughts on it and whatnot. So let's go ahead and listen to this news report. New at 5, rappers Houston area home raided. Investigators seizing weapons and evidence. NBA Youngboy's Northwest Terrace County home Three of his associates have been arrested as a result of that raid. Among them crimes, they are charged in the shooting of a man back in November. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker has the details. That raid happened inside of this gated community. Neighbors tell us that SWAT teams prevented anyone from getting in or outside of these gates. Neighbors captured video SWAT teams with the Harris County Sheriff's Office raiding the Cypress home Tuesday belonging to rapper NBA Youngboy and his mother. We've never had him before, so it was uh, a surprise, especially when we found out we were in a perimeter. 
And they told us to stay in the house. Neighbors say they were on lockdown for hours as SWAT brought out guns and other evidence connected to a shooting last November. Deputies tell us they ulted three men at the rapper's home in connection to that shooting two months ago that left a man with lip altering injuries. Carleon Gallion, Ray Mello Williams, and Daryl Brown are all facing charges. Deputies say that shooting started as an altercation between two men. At the time, deputies say two of the suspects left the scene. They were among those three arrested this week. Neither the rapper nor his mother were charged. We didn't know who they were when they moved in here, I don't know, a year or so ago, and uh, very quiet, just normal people. Harris County deputies tell us that now other law enforcement entities report. These are the three men, and as you guys already know, this story has already been out, you know, so y'all know how I like to do it, man. I like to wait for all the specifics to come out, and then I give my little opinion on the situation. Now, in my opinion, that was a foolish move to be making as of right now with all the heat on everybody's back. YB has even alluded to it in a song that the feds really want him and they want to take him down. He just got out the feds. So of course, there's going to be a lot of heat over anything that's on his name, as well as people that he knows is attached to him. Now, if you're at his house, living at his house while he's currently not there, of course, you are a regular everyday member and you're highly connected to him. So to be moving in his manner as of right now, that just states that you want to go away. That's not a smart way to be moving when you know you got so much heat over your back and that does nothing but add more heat and flack onto YB with you guys being at his house. It makes him look like he's running a criminal organization and it makes it seem as though it would be a fair thing to slap kingpin charges on him. Of course, they're not going to get a jury of his peers. They're going to get a jury of people who are completely outside of life and people who haven't really heard too much of his name. Um, well, they probably heard his name, but not his songs, not his music. They don't really know too much of what he speaks about. They're not connected to him in any type of way. They come from a different walk of life. And only thing they want to do is slap them cuffs on him and get him locked away because of what he represents. So if you guys are out here moving like that, when knowing that there's so much heat on him, the only thing you're doing is being a liability to him. So if he decides at this point to get rid of you, it would be just. It would be something that is doing him a big favor you're not making yourself an asset at this point you're doing nothing but destroying him and potentially putting him in a position to where he could be locked away forever at this point of him being the biggest rapper in the world he is the one with the biggest spotlight on him and he's the one that the police gonna target everywhere he goes so that's just a foolish way to move and operate in my opinion makes no sense i don't understand it but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that down in the comment section and with that being said let's go ahead and move on this is CEO Big 30's reaction as well as Moneybag Yo's reaction uh, after the situation happened with his cousin, you know, Nooski losing his life. Both of them reacted and CEO Big 30 had a heartfelt message, man. It's really touching, man. And it, it really gets to you, you know, to see how he feels, man. This is his cousin that been around him his whole life and to actually see him pass. I know it's got to be a situation that's breaking him down inside, as he stated, throughout all of these different posts that he made, man. He made a lot of posts. He's been talking about them a whole lot. And what he stated was, my cousin, my everything, all I know since kindergarten, my got uh my go to man role model everything gone killing me this was my worst nightmare it's killing me i ain't been crushed like this never i never had this feeling but you taught me well and dudes can't touch us but slippers go uh slippers goes and i'll never uh i'll never see you again that's what's killing me the most you know uh you know me you know me better than anybody you know i ain't going you know I'm a stand on that business. You know what I'm capable of doing. You know, uh, you know I ain't going. I'll never forget the promises we made each other before I let you, uh, before I let a dude ever play with your with your name. Like you ain't have the whole city scared. Like you want, uh, like you want the biggest gangster I ever known. I'll die or risk it all for you. About your, uh, about you, I'm sick to my stomach making this post tired of crying you know it's time 
if you ain't gonna uh, if you ain't gonna die with me all ties you thought we had cut go get some hearts go get some broken hearts yeah i kind of messed that up that while i was reading it you know that was the first time i really read it but yeah man you know sad situation he, he made even more posts uh well comments on it throughout these pictures talking about he can't deal and he can't go on but i say this brother you most definitely can go on you can go on man you just gotta live in his honor like you were saying in that man you gotta keep everything in his honor now don't let it push you into doing a negative even though that's where you want to go at this point man you know you got a you got a spotlight on you in the city the police are expecting you to respond they're expecting the body count to rise and it might not even be somebody from the street who did this situation it might be somebody with a lot of power who wants to poke and pick at you you know and make you derail your career they already took poo shiesty so you're the one you're the remaining lone soldier out here trying to make it happen of course y'all got money back yo but that's your big bruh when we talking about the ones that you grew up with like you stayed in here he was always with you always had your back you know you the lone soldier now man so you got to be the one to think with a clear head you can't just crash out even though this makes you want to you know you got to be there for them babies like you stayed right here man his babies is your babies y'all kids you're gonna take care of y'all kids but how can you do that man if you are crashing out and getting uh, racketeering racketeering charges and kingpin charges and all these different charges you know whenever the spotlight is so big on you right now man that's what it's that's what is expected it's expected for y'all to go ahead and burn each other down it's expected for you to burn whoever you allege in your head that did this situation without actually knowing who actually did it man you know just take a step back and think about your career and think about your kids and go harder for him push something for him start a foundation in his name do better in his name start something that can pull people away from going through this start you know something to motivate the next ceo big 30 you know to motivate the next nuski to motivate the next pool shiesty to motivate the next money bag yo and help them you know have an alleyway into the majors to where they don't lose something they love and burn the whole city down man because that's easy man burning the city down is something easy man but the hard thing and the thing that i really honor him is to open something that can change somebody else's life in his name and make his life live on you know how would how would it feel for you to start your own foundation that whenever they think of Nuski's name is thought of in an honorable manner you know sometimes as black men we got to think outside the box because we think too easy for what's common and that's how we are easily taken down that's why these people have been beating us at war for decades because we react we react too emotional they allowed us and taught us to be too emotional by the things that we go through but we got to learn to block those things out and move forward in a, a different manner you know that's one thing i'm working on is, is not snapping on you know everything i see when a man disrespect me on here knowing that you know i can't get to him or whatever man it's just like you know sometimes you got to take a step back and be like man i'm not gonna react in that, in that manner because that's what expected of me they expect me to do that we make ourselves too predictable and we got to stop all of that but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on all this down in the comment section make sure you drop the r.i.p niskies as well you know what i'm saying and uh with that being said make sure you like comment subscribe ring that bell icon show your voice some love y'all know what it is man and i will be back you know with all the bangers i do got the fat tone and mac dre video coming out so if y'all want to see that make sure y'all drop that down in the comment section been working on that real hard here lately you know what i'm saying and yeah man if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon and with that being said i'm out yeah, 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 yeah.